there's major protests going on in Iraq right now, right? Like they are sick of their, their government, which hasn't done shit for them, the kind of puppet government we've kind of put in, our guy, you know? And so there's major protests, and, and protests are getting killed, like 100, 200 or something like that. And uh, anyway, the, our mainstream media is like, so how do we channel that to help us? How do we stop protests from going against our puppet government in Iraq? And they found the answer. This is Wall Street Journal Tuesday, as you can see the photo here. In Iraq and Lebanon, protesters turn their anger to Iran. Yay, let's fuck Iran, all right. Now, here's why I specifically picked this story. This is Wall Street Journal, it's a News Corp, it says right there, News Corp, owned by Rupert Murdoch, right? That's Wall Street Journal. This is Tuesday, New York Times, also trying to figure out how do we reshape the, the protests in Iraq. Notice anything similar about the photos? <laughs> Their, their headline, a new slogan, ignites Iraqis. Iran, get out. Uh, fucking uh, identical uh, news. Uh, fucking New York Times and Wall Street Journal. Incredible, right? Uh, all right, so moving on to some others. Let's see here. Oh, this is the Washington Post. Plant-based meat craze relies on the magic of flavorists. Okay, now this is true, and it's actually an interesting article in a certain way that, that uh, when, when it's fake meat, uh, you, you, they have to flavor it. So they, they're making it taste as much, much like meat as possible. Now that would be an interesting article, except how much do you want to bet this was put forward by the meat lobby to remind everybody, hey guys, it's chemicals, all right? It's fucking chemicals. And, and because you never see a front page article like that about you know, meat where it's like, hey guys, you know, headline, meat flavor from how much fecal matter's in it. You know, like that's, you know, depending on the amount of fecal matter, depending on the amount of eyeball left in your McDonald's McDouble, you never see that headline, do you? Uh, oh, and now they're pushing because, okay, Biden's collapsing, right? But support for Biden is, is fucking tanking. Uh, one debate, his teeth fell out. I, I'm, I'm fucking not kidding. You could see him adjusting them. Another debate, his eye exploded. Again, not, not kidding. His fucking eye went all bloody. Uh, and, and then recently, this past week, he did half a speech facing the wrong direction. I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw that one. Again, not kidding. Uh, and, and so, so Biden's collapsing, so what are they going to do? Well, they fucking don't want Sanders or Warren uh, because they, they might break up the big banks or something. So fuck Sanders and Warren, right? So the mainstream media, well, what do we do? Well, let's start pushing this fucking other people up. So they've said, Buttigieg is making a comeback, wow. all right? They said, re really, the headline said he surges to 9%. He has <laughs> surged to 9%. And this is the, I swear to God, this is the Washington Post. They're fucking thrilled. They're talking about how great he's doing. More than 700 people turned out in Iowa for Buttigieg. <laughs> Do you realize fucking Bernie Sanders in a bathroom stall taking a dump has 700 people out there? If Bernie Sanders had 700 people in Iowa, it would be like, Bernie Sanders collapses. Only 700 people come out to see it. But Buttigieg, they're like, hey, it's up, he's the fucking Beatles. He has 700 people. All right, let's see, one more in here. Google bought Fitbit, did you see that? Google bought Fitbit. It says, Google keeps up gadget pursuit. Fitbit will help us in our hardware efforts. Now, what that should say is, Fitbit will help us follow you everywhere you go. <laughs> we have now found a way to get you all to willingly strap devices onto yourselves so that we can track you more effectively. You know, know your heartbeat and things like that. We're already following you everywhere with your phones, but now, you know, it'd be good to know your heartbeat. It'll be good to know what fucking stimulates you. This is Washington Post. Iran takes new step from nuclear deal by activating sensitive facility. So they're stepping away from the nuclear deal. What might be left out here? We fucking ruined the nuclear deal. We fucking destroyed it. We've set it on fire. And then they keep putting out articles like, Iran's not following the nuclear deal. This would be like if I made a deal with you, okay, $500, I'm gonna paint your house. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna paint your house anymore. Where's the $500? <laughs> and then they're running with headlines like, dude won't give me $500 for the house painting deal that I made with him. <laughs> this is the Washington Post. Naomi Caravani pointed out th this to me. This is page A14 down here in the corner. It almost looks like a smudge, like somebody, it was like a smudge. <laughs> it really is like just a smudge of an article. Israel 
has expelled the head of Human Rights Watch, Israel and Palestine office, from their country. Israel expels the head of Human Rights Watch, and it's down here, it's a little fart in the corner of the, a, page A14, this smudge. I'm surprised they don't find a like more hidden place for this, like it's in a glass case at the Washington Post headquarters. You can see it if you want to, if you guess the right nuclear codes. Uh, oh, okay, I got one, two more, one more, two more. Uh, Washington Post still. Recession fears ease as indicators stay healthy. Don't worry, folks. Everything's healthy. Uh, you know what they don't mention? It was a false recovery to begin with. Fucking all of the wealth, like something like 90-some percent of all the, renew the gained wealth since the last collapse has gone to the top 1%. So there was no recovery in that sense. It, all that gain has gone. 40 million people in this country are in poverty. We have the most inequality of any developed country. 40% of adults can't afford a $400 emergency. But don't worry, according to this headline, everything's cool. All right, <laughs> Everything is fine, folks. Uh, uh, here, here's what the title should have been, uh, Plantation Owners Doing Well. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that headline should have been. And this is the last one. Pentagon wants to use vast swath of Nevada wildlife refuge for weapons testing. <laughs> Excited? Uh, I mean, uh, listen, I, I was upset as you are at first, but then I thought, you know, caribou are pretty fucking dangerous, all right? We don't know, we don't know what they're up to. Um, you know, porcupines have those little quills, so we need some heavy armaments in there, don't you think? There's a huge photo with it. Now, the photo is not connected to the article, but I don't think people know that at first. The photo is an ad, the photo is an ad for health insurance, but you see this headline, Pentagon wants to use vast swaths of Nevada wildlife refuge for weapons testing. Then, photo of two people out in the woods with just the word, explore. <laughs> no, don't, don't fucking explore. They're, they're firing missiles. Don't explore. 